Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day for my lecture Dr. Hisham My name is Wan Muhammad Afiq bin Wadenan And today I will presenting my assignment task uh, Job or the costing For this assignment I refer to Spree Furniture and Decoration Company my presentation have a three part. The first part is background. The second one, the SWOT analysis. And the third is job order costing calculation. The first part, the background. The spring furniture and decoration the, is an uh, inter, internal designer company. This uh, company is owned by Mr. Wan Muhammad Fikri bin Wan Muhammad Ali. As you can see the address, it was located in Terengganu. This company established in 2016 and have 30 workers. And the main activity is mainly focused on building furniture for kitchen and bathroom. This picture on the left you can see is me and Mr. Fikri and his son for my interview. And on the right you can see uh, me standing in front of the company building. The second one is the SWOT analysis. In this, uh, I have analyzed uh, for the strength, weaknesses, opportunities and also the threats that may have in this company. Let's uh, focus on the strength first. For the strength, the first one we have the high quality product which is the product that produced was uh, durable and long lasting. The second one is clear organized organization which is Every department and his workers know their job and uh, do it uh, uh, and have a sufficient so yeah, efficient in uh, doing their job. The, now for the witness, we have uh, for the third strength, we have public promotion through social media, mainly through Facebook. Uh, in this stage, uh, Mr. Fikri only uh, promote their company, their business, only in Facebook uh, platform. Now for the witness, he has two, which is uh, the first one is source limit. This prob uh, is problem in acquiring the source and material. This due to the COVID-19 epidemic. The second one is the company's rival. There are many other company. Uh, there are many other companies that doing the same business as Mr. Fikri in the same or near the area. The third is opportunities. In opportunities that I can see uh, have two. The first one is uh, Mr. Fikri can widen the promotion through use of variety social media such as Instagram. We, uh, also, he can use uh, Twitter or make an uh, official website for his company. The second one I as uh, opportunity that I see is that he can uh, make a promotion like discount after COVID-19. This was uh, to attract more customer. This due to uh, in uh, PKP time, the customer may have a low budget. So by doing the discount, may attract the customer to come to their company. And the last one is the threat. The treat. 
the thread. The thread is uh, has three, which is worker safety. In worker safety here means that the workers doesn't have insurance when they are going out to do survey in their customer place. The second one is the insufficient supply sources and materials, which uh, I have explained in the witnesses. And the third one is not enough worker. This also uh, uh, due to the COVID-19, where the company have to end several uh, of his uh, worker service uh, to save their company. Now, the third and the last part is job order costing calculation. Based from assignment task, it assumes I as the owner of this company and have to do calculation uh, on product, which is a TV cabinet. So the calculation will on the direct material, direct labor, and overhead cost. For direct material, as you can see, this is the list of material uh, for uh, to make one TV cabinet. It also have the quantity and the price for each of the material. And you can see the total price for material for one uh, TV cabinet is 1,651 ringgit. From the calculation, we will insert in the cop the job cost sheet. Uh, you can see up here there are date initiated, which is uh, the starting date where the process of making the TV cabinet started, and the date of the completer is on tenth July. It is uh, one week to produce one unit of TV cabinet. From the total price for the material, we insert it under the direct material column. For direct labor, I use the information that I got from Mr. Fikri, which is the workers uh, work for 40 hours for one week. So, uh, and Mr. Fikri uh, gives salary to their workers uh, 12 ringgit and 50 cent for per hour. So uh, we total it when we got 500 ringgit for the direct labor. Now for manufacturing overhead, the hour we use is the same. It is a 40 hour. But for the rate and amount, we will have to do some calculation first. The calculation, as you can see, we have to do the first one we have to do the predetermined overhead rate, which is POHR, and uh, it consists of estimated overhead for the year and estimated allocation base for the year. So we insert the value where the estimated overhead is six hundred and forty thousand ringgit, and for the direct labor hour. Uh, DLH is 160,000. So we can get 4 ringgit per DLH. This value we will use in uh, uh, for apply overhead for the job, which is the formula uh, POHR times the actual activity. So for the POHR is the value that we got from uh, calculation up here so we insert it and the actual activity is the 40 hours and DLH we are, so 4 ringgit per DLH times the 40 DLH we can get 160 ringgit for overhead manu uh, manufacturing overhead uh, from the calculation, now we can insert the value in the column uh, for manufacturing overhead. Now the rate is 4 and the amount is 160. So the table 
uh, below, you can see is the total cost for direct material, direct labor and manufacturing overhead. We sum these three costs and we will get the total cost for one uh, unit complete uh, TV cabinet, which is 2,311 2, ringgit. That's all for my presentation. Thank you.